I'm gonna. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. I think because I've opened five doors on my calendar. We're just popping to Asda and treating them to a McDonald's. And just that sort of day, aren't we, Dave? Yeah. Aren't we stiff neck? So we'll bring you along with us. There's the same bike. You can't see, you just see me. There she is. Oh, look at her. Who's us? Who's us? Look at her hair. Look, I've got a bloody. I look like cake topper. So we've been to Asda, which was fun, wasn't it, Dave? Yeah. And now what we got, Stan? Yeah. Got vegetables. Yeah. Jakey, what's the matter? And we got the view. I don't know if you can see because the sun's shining, but we're along the harbour. Oh, we've got to person watch us. I don't really know what's happening here. Oh, I think I love the door. <laughs> Why is Jack walking around with his helm? Is there an actual reason? Oh look, it's the sloth it. has appeared from the bedroom. Hi sloth. Oh, sloth, he's a hermit. A hermit. You got your chewing gum? Have you put your arms in your dressing gown? I just made, I just made oh, it yeah. outside of it. <laughs> 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 Jack? 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 What are you doing? Jack. So we've been home a little while now. Oh, let me just turn the telly down. I've realised why I don't go shopping with great kids. Mainly Grace, to be honest with you. Went in for a present for Stanley's friend and I can't come out spending £80. Did get packed lunch stuff so but um we've been home a little while just having hot chocolate I'm watching jack frost i've never actually seen jack frost that's what i was gonna say um you know advent calendars yet i've always and what i know of people to open on the first day is number one but i've seen it on tiktok and a few stanley and a few other people that they start theirs on the 24 and then count down like 24 days till Christmas, 23 and I'm, I'm baffled now to think am I doing opening my calendar the right way or am I doing it wrong what does it what does everyone else do so I do get the counting down the days but I've always opened it from number one so I don't get it I really don't get it <laughs> I'm having myself this bar I am freezing. Absolutely freezing me today. Just talking about cow with Dave, but I've just literally come in here and let this decorations. People have their decorations up, but it weren't that. I was just going to show you this planet. Look at that planet. Star, look at that. It's Bethlehem. What is it? It's Bethlehem Star. That looks huge. I think there's another star. Oh, there's one there. It's oh, there's a Christmas light over there. It's Bethlehem. Here oh. comes Santa Claus. So this has been a bit of a talky vlog, but it's been one of those days where we had to go do the shopping and all that sort of stuff. And I think days now coming. And um, I just haven't picked the camera up. I was going to um, vlog in Asda, but three kids. On, in Asda on a Saturday is literally a no-go, really. <laughs> but um, I'm just a bit feeling a bit like, oh, because I because obviously three weeks time is Christmas Eve, and I'm thinking, crap, I'm not wrapped any presents up. Crap, I ain't done this. Crap, I ain't done that. And then the whole stuff with Jack yesterday at the health is there. They've managed to get him an appointment with. I, I'll have to go find out what the name is, but the nursery nurse on Wednesday to do this assessment, Wednesday morning. But Stanley's got his appointment at the hospital that we've been waiting for for weeks, like face-to-face -face appointment. So I don't really want to cancel Stanley's appointment because obviously we know what it's like to try and get an appointment at the minute. But then I don't want to cancel Stanley's. And Dave will wake up Wednesday morning, wake up Wednesday morning, finish work Wednesday morning. Stanley's appointment's at 11 and because he ran George to school and that for me he won't get any sleep so he's not going to be able to say all this information to Stanley's doctor because I've got so much to say I'm so I'm just so angry with how Stanley's been triggered to be honest with all this hospital shite 
and I can't get to the hospital unless I get buses but then I've got to take Stanley out of school for an extra like hour and a half just to get on a bus do you know what I mean like it's not where we, we aren't that far from the hospital if you drive like we're literally 10 15 minutes but on a bus it's like an hour and that, and that ain't fair on sand drag him on a bus so I'm now having to think I've got to cancel Jack's appointment for Stanley's and then I got because I'm, I'm going to be honest I hate phoning people so I've got my my and is that anxiety yeah my anxiety levels are like whoa because I know I've got to phone this doc, um, nursery nurse on Monday and change it and I, I always feel like they think oh you can't be fine you, you, you oh, what's the word you can't be that worried if he's handsome on the appointment and things like that because we tried to cancel his um hip scan once when Stanley had a really important appointment they won't let us they said they need you need to come in we work quite nasty about it so I always feel a bit on edge about cancelling Jack's appointments I don't want to cancel it to be honest if she could say well I'm coming at between 9 and 10 that would fit in perfectly like, do you know what I mean like that would be fine absolutely fine and um what else is what else is happening Stanley I'm quite worried about Stanley he went back to school Friday he wasn't a hundred percent and looking back now I really shouldn't have but this whole attendance thing and percentages and that scare me as well because I don't I don't want to find for not sending them to school do you know what I mean I just don't I just I've just had enough really and it's all like the school says no children in for any illnesses any illnesses be off fair enough but they're not getting attendance down like he's 88 percent at the minute for this term 88 percent and he's hardly been off. They, 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 like the morning and the afternoon, register a class is two times off, and that really wind me up. And um, he's still not 100% better. My mum took him out last night, and he just laid on the bench and wouldn't like wake up. She had to keep going, Stanley, 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 to try and get him to wake up. So now I'm worrying, because he used to do this when um, in the summer when he overheated, and now I'm wondering... Is it to do with the cold, like cold weather, or it could be something normal, like he's just where where he's been poorly and he's just shattered. I don't know, but like everything, I just like everything is like on top. Like feel it sounds stupid, but I've got so much going on in my head. My brain feels like it's going like this, like over everything. And then Dave's not this week. Next week, got to work quite a long block of shifts, which is fine. Like it's fine, but. And I do it on my own anyway, four nights a week and that. But it's the fact that I know he's off and I know I've got to do it on my own, like everything, because he literally comes in from work, takes George to school, go to bed, and then leaves for work again. So I'm left to do, not left to do it, because he's at work. I I have to do everything. And and I just feel a bit overwhelmed. I think, oh, well, I've got to get their uniform. They've got this. They've got Christmas jumper day. They've got this. They've got, ah. And I just, I'm just a bit like, Whoa. I just need to, Whoa. Do you know what I love to go for a, like a weekend away somewhere, which I've looked up and unless you're bloody willing to sell a kidney, it's no no way. And with this whole, that's another thing. I think that's the old coronavirus thing as well. Like this time last year, my kids school shut up two weeks, two and a half weeks before the rest of the school shut up, and I'm a bit on edge, thinking, oh my god, is it going to happen again? Not that anything has been said or nothing like that. But it's just, it's just not knowing what's going on. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. I can't do another lockdown with home learning. But if I have to, I have to. But I just, it's made me feel sick, actually. <laughs> but um, I got sent my booster invite. And again, I had to cancel it because Jack was having this appointment on Friday. My booster was booked in for Friday at half past ten. But the health visitor phoned and said, no, I'm coming at half past ten Friday. He's like, great, thanks. And, um... I try to re <laughs> rebook it, and they want me to go to Leicestershire, which is three hours away from my house. I was like, no, thank you, on Christmas Eve as well. So, one, I won't be able to get to Leicester. Two, I'm not going Christmas Eve and having a booster job. You can bugger off. I ain't doing that. So, it's just like a load of stuff happening. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just, I just, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted and they all that's another thing Stanley did last night um we went to the light switch on we were there for about 45 minutes we left we went a bit later so we weren't there the whole time and 
he come in we walked past the chip shop because I literally live across the road from the chip shop and he said can I have sausage and chips and he hasn't eaten properly for about a week now and I went alright then because they hadn't had any tea and we got him and he went oh I want my sausage I can't eat but he's saying his belly's hurting when he eats so I don't really know again I don't know what that is like, I, I just didn't know like people going oh he's just saying his belly hurt that's fair enough if we've got a normal child stanley isn't a normal child whatsoever he's he's got extra needs special needs so something normal for one child isn't normal for him do you know what i mean and he had all the chips didn't touch well not one he had about 10 chips on his plate didn't didn't touch the sausage so we put him to bed just gave him bath put him to bed gave because he's still quite snotty gave him um albus oil on his chest tied a t-shirt around his bunk bed um, put all the albus oil on to that so it smelt in the bedroom stuck his pillows up so he was sitting up right right so when he coughed he isn't would like see when he seemed to lay down he coughed a bit more so we propped him up and all this and that jack woke up i think about midnight one o'clock i can't remember dave got up to him and i were i woke up at half past eight like i woke up by myself at half past eight and I was like, well, where are the kids then? What's going on? And then I heard Grace talking because she'd done a sleepover in Stanley's bed and I got bunk beds and then Jack's in his cot. So Grace was in the bunk beds at the bottom and Stanley was at the top. And um, she went, Stanley, she come running down. So she went, Stanley's been sick in his bed. Stanley's been sick in his bed. I went, what, just now? She went, no, in his sleep. He's still asleep. So I thought the worst because Stanley come in our bed every single night. Like, that, without fail, I think two nights out of his whole life he's never been in my bed. I honestly thought, I, I'm not going to, this might be trigger warning, but I honestly thought he'd like choked in his sleep. So I'm a bit on edge about everything that's going on. I don't really know what to really do. And then you get the list from school of what you've got to do for the last two weeks. They've got to take in about £10 each over this next two weeks. I just, once I get school out of the way, because I, fi I find the school routine, uniform, um, homework and all that quite quite stressful like I can't explain it I I like going with the flow like they go to bed in the summer holidays in like the holidays they go to bed about eight nine and then get up about eight nine which works better for us but school days we're like trying to get him to bed having a bath then moaning doing homework sorting the uniform out doing the pack lunches sorting the bags like PE kits and it just like it really overwhelms me <laughs> so once school's out of the way i can relax a bit i'm getting moaned at now ooh, ooh, ooh. god i'm gonna leave this here for today i will see you again tomorrow goodbye